Well, you could be the best person for a job, but if you're not confident, or at least look confident, how do you expect a potential employer to have faith in you? Well, our career expert, Kim McNicholas, mm -hmm. CEO of interview platform Kim Review, is here to join us to tell us uh, more about how to fake it till you make it. Hi, yeah, Kim. Hi, confidence, yeah, it doesn't yeah. come overnight. So you do have to fake it till you make Definitely. it. Definitely. <laughs> and that's why we have Dr. Carol Gobin. She is, she's here with us. She's mm -hmm. an amazing body language expert. She's really helped me in my career. And as you said, she can truly help you fake it till you make it. And you know, Carol, sometimes you can exude confidence without even saying a word. Is that right? Oh, yes. Even when you're sitting down, you know, mm -hmm. if you're seated and you can put your feet flat on the floor and bring your arms away from your body, maybe even hook an arm over the back of the chair, hmm. spread out your stuff on the table, you actually expand into space. And confidence is actually non verbally displayed in height and space. Oh. I see men do it all the time. <laughs> I see men do it all the time. <laughs> you messy guys. Get my territory here, right? That's exactly. basically what's happening, right? You are claiming territory. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And what about when you're standing up? Because there's a trick that you actually taught me a while ago that I pass on. I, wor I work with the girls in the Miss America organization, and one of my girls, um, who was a former Miss Marin, Sarah Rutan, helped me to remember the superwoman pose. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. This is great. Before you go into a meeting, uh -huh. if you stand with your legs apart and your hands on your hips and you hold what they call a high power pose, mm -hmm. you hold that for just two minutes and you will change your blood chemistry. Actually, your testosterone level <laughs> will rise, which is your power and dominance hormone, and your cortisol level, your stress hormone, will lower. So not only will you feel more confident mm -hmm. when you keep your shoulders back and have held this posture, of course you do this in private, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but when you walk into the meeting... You don't walk in like this, no. no. probably not. <laughs> right, well, it depends right. on the meeting, but probably yeah. not. Yeah. But when you walk walk in, you have enough of that residual in your body mm -hmm. that you not only feel more confident, mm -hmm. but people perceive you that way. That's a great tip. Yeah. Uh, and, and another one that, that I know, especially with women, have, have an issue with is what do you do about the pitch of your voice? Right. Oh, that's very important. And you're right. Women's voices are higher. Mm -hmm. And people with higher voices are usually determined to be less powerful and more nervous. So a great tip for females or anyone who gets stressed and your voice starts to get higher yeah. is to put your lips together and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that brings your voice down into its optimal range. And so you do this ahead of time as well as striking the power pose. <laughs> That's right. You're very <laughs> You're busy. busy. <laughs> You're time. It's yeah. not easy. Exactly. <laughs> What about um, from your voice up to your eyes? Because eyes are the, the greatest one. I mean, that, that can be a total giveaway in terms of your insecurities. Oh, absolutely. And you know, eye contact is like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Too much, and you're accused of having that stalker stare. Yeah, the deer right. in the headlights yeah. kind yeah. of a yeah. look. Too little, and you look insecure, and worse, you look deceptive. Because the biggest body language myth about lying is that liars can't look you in the eyes. Mm -hmm. So just right is if you meet someone's eyes about 50-60% of the time when you're talking. And a great tip for really getting good eye contact is everyone you meet, look at them in the eyes long enough to know what color their eyes are. Oh, that's good. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so and just long enough. So yeah. as you mentioned, think Goldilocks. Exactly. Just right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. right. Okay. And there's another trick that you that you actually taught me uh, as well because um, you know when in and it would actually you probably deal with it as well when you're at that at the teleprompter, mm -hmm. you need to kind of break away a little bit. Yes. And so, for example, if I say my favorite color is, take a deep breath. My favorite color is pink. Right. So you kind of take a breath, look away, and then look back with a definitive answer. Yeah, power of pause is really powerful. But also, when you give them that answer, look them right in the eyes, because that'll make you look very sure of what you're saying. You want to make sure that, that you don't look evil, that you don't just <laughs> right into them. Be Probably be not. Well, yeah. be because of that, would you suggest practicing in front of a mirror? Well, a mirror is fine, but practicing just in your daily life. I mean, certainly you can power pose anywhere. Sure. And, and and you can mm -hmm anywhere, yeah. but eye contact, you know, you can experiment. See how much eye contact is too much when you go to the grocery store and if the teller starts backing away. <laughs> Exactly. Of course, that could be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, these are fantastic tips, and I want to thank you so much. As I as I close up here, I don't want to take up too much territory. Still spreading that, it. So that's oh, something yeah. that I've learned right off the bat. But thank you so much. Thank you. And Kim, thank you.